Hey Virgo, welcome back, welcome back. Happy New Year. Happy, happy New Year. Hope everybody's enjoying your new year. Yes, yes, yes. This is a channel for Virgos. Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. As usual, some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take with fifth, leave the rest. Personal reading links are in the description box below this video. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Um, I'm mostly active on Facebook, so there's a link in the description box below if you want to pop in and say hello. And uh, yeah, just keep in mind that some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. And uh, hmm, what else? That's it. Let's go. Let's go. So you have coffin falling out here. This is going to be a reading for January, by the way. Hi, everybody in the chat. Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition. Okay. So um, rest in peace, MFR. <laughs> You're done. Something's over. Something's ended with you and somebody. Is this going to be a continuation? Let's call in the spirits and the angels to bring Virgo some good news in this reading. But yeah, something's done. Something has ended. Or at least it feels that way right now for January. Um, okay, let me see. If you have lost somebody, my condolences, my heartfelt love and warmth to you. If someone has passed recently or over these holidays, um, yeah, I just feel a need to say that to someone. No, it is not a prediction of someone passing in the future. This is for those of you that have lost someone and uh, we're all giving you great big virtual hugs right now. All right, so let's see. Coffin and lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. Oh, wow, Virgo, okay. Something ended suddenly with someone or something is ending suddenly with someone heart with a key welcoming love meeting the one opening your heart getting together and perfect okay so wow virgo it looks like um you're gonna meet somebody now that something is over that leaves room opens you up for either new love or someone else to come in you have butterfly relationship evolving to the next phase healing the inner child and growth this is lovely awesome okay hmm and there's also the golden mirror self-absorbed narcissist okay some of you have just let go of a one-sided relationship or someone who was love bombing you maybe you don't know it yet or you will come to know that something is done and like a flash of lightning it's just you're free you're free okay so let's get into this let us get into this message let's focus on meaning the one heart with a key okay so i really feel like you ended something with someone who was very well it was just a one-sided relationship maybe somebody was love bombing you all the time and what does that mean um i just had this conversation today with my good friend andrea someone was you know possibly giving to get okay anyway enough of that you've got butterfly relationship evolving so i feel like now you're in this place where your heart is still open or you're opening up your heart maybe get together with someone someone coming in with a key to your heart and a relationship that evolves to the next level healing your inner child good news look you've got the world virgo so yeah chapter's over walking away chapter's closed on to the next on to the new um, we ended this this year and you're having a new beginning here okay starting over definitely you've completed a goal or some kind of a lesson or you're learning something in january um soul contracts completed finished out you've graduated you're moving on okay all right look at that i love it you know yesterday's reading strength came out in the position the same position um the second card so look at this courage bravery <coughs> excuse me um leo energy we have taurus scorpio and aquarius for some of you could be somebody new coming in you know i feel like really when i look at this card do you see how that maiden that person is trying to to me it looks like she's trying well maybe somebody you're going to be getting like some dental work but it feels like she is it's like a spiritual card to open up start talking 
Don't go for a second best, baby. Put your love to the test. It's time for you to express yourself. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, this is an energy here. It's You're opening up. Maybe you felt stifled in your past where you couldn't talk or somebody shut you down and you had... I don't know something I, I just feel like maybe you tried to speak speak from the heart or speak your mind and somebody might have just stifled you stonewalled you or made you or gave you the impression they want to hear you or tried to close your mouth tried to tell you to stop talking and you've bottled stuff up but it looks like now you're leaving that behind and like you're now coming back either back to yourself or learning how to speak up for yourself or to express yourself okay um, express yourself <laughs> I'm just getting that Madonna song like real strong vibes maybe Leo energy again like I keep saying Leo energy we have two lions here <sighs> roaring you're roaring <laughs> okay oh yep there's your signal right there let me see so these are oh my gosh leo 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 listen oh, virgo maybe you're on the cusp of leo virgo are you connecting with a leo um all this energy like it's it's flowing beautifully you're going from walking away from something here with the world you've got strength you've got the sun this is opening up this exposure virgo i feel like you are I mean, some of you might be out there exposing yourselves. I don't know. Do your thing, whatever you got to do. But this is positivity. This is coming back out into the light. And it's a playful energy with the sun. You have two Leo cards. I can't even believe that. If you're on the cusp of Leo Virgo, you're being asked to embrace your Leo side. That positive, good Leo energy. Even if you're not, embrace it. If it's anywhere in your chart... This is confidence, self-assurance. This is being bold, being a leader, um, being courageous, having your, getting your power back and standing in your power, um, embracing your charms, or your, maybe you're on the charm offensive, some of you. I just feel like the energy is really, really, like it's like a playfulness as well with the sun. Um, just like joy it, like all major arcana this is happening for you this is like joy joy success a joyful outcome so you're on your way you know you let go of something or you're letting go of something or maybe you're in the process of ending something and i feel like throughout the month of january there's like a healing energy as well here and who are you going to connect with maybe for some of you, that sun exposing or put, bring, getting back out there again is what I feel like. And putting yourself somewhere to be seen so that someone can, you know, it's like making yourself available again. I don't know, Virgo, I feel like you went through something really, really difficult. If there was someone who actually passed away um, and it was like a sudden shock, you're healing from that now if it was recent give yourself time be patient with yourself i do feel like you know forgiveness um praying for someone uh, asking for faith and healing i feel like that will just set you on this path to this beautiful uh happy place somewhere you will find happiness again whether it's minuscule or a you know blows up like a bonfire whichever it is i don't feel like the spark is gone there's still a little something left and also i'm getting if if there was someone that left their message to you is you know if this is someone that's passed on their message to you is keep your glow your glow is very beautiful don't lose your glow keep that spark don't let me go in vain wow heavy duty stuff okay heavy duty stuff wow virgo i'm not even kidding you have four major arcanas and i'm shuffling this deck i am shuffling this deck 
You have four major arcanas. I mean, this is powerful stuff. This is a powerful reading. Some of you, there's going to be um, an opportunity for pregnancy or having a baby or becoming pregnant. Some of you are going through the change of life and you're, you're, or you've gone through it already and now it's like you've passed through that difficult time and now you're getting maybe settling into yourself um, becoming happy again there's this the empress energy that's taurus there is this energy of like having new beginnings okay uh, male or female energy it's like you're coming into yourself you could be on the cusp of virgo and libra as well okay so yeah this just gives me a sense oh Wow, okay. Yeah, this just gives me a sense that um, you're actually starting over and you're gonna do very well. It's like a new positive outlook. Hold on a second. I don't have the ability to just tell people. I should have put my phone on like silence. But yeah, you've got new, a new start. You've got your hope back, okay. And there you go. You have the Knight of Cups. Okay, so a romantic offer definitely coming in or going to be showing up. Now understand something. It's just an offer. Don't get yourself like locked in when this offer comes in in January. Um, just because the Knight of Cups, yeah, it can be like Prince or Princess Charming, um, Sweet Talker, romantic, very romantic, someone who comes in with that cup wanting you know they offer the romance to get the romance um it's not necessarily bad there's reciprocal energy but you definitely have an admirer showing up here in january okay it could be a pisces for some of you um let me see it's it's a sweet offer okay i will tell you that okay yeah but <laughs> you've got the moon cancer Pisces again. So Virgo, uh, again, it's a sweet offer, but that moon, it's not necessarily that it's deceptive, but there's a lot hidden with this offer. And so I feel like the, the message here for you is when this comes in, don't latch on. Okay. Um, I don't want to say I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want you to feel like, oh, okay, you can't be hopeful about this, but enjoy it when it comes, but you know, don't allow it, don't let it validate you. Just take whatever sweet offer comes in this romantic offer for a date or to go out to dinner or, you know, get together with someone, you know, um, don't get hooked. I just feel like if you're that Virgo, um, don't overanalyze it. Just, you know, it's, this is about as sweet as a lollipop. You know, you get a lollipop, you have it, you enjoy it, and then it's gone in like, what, five minutes, right? So it's kind of like that. It's like a lollipop offer. It's nothing heavy duty just yet here. That moon, you know, there's, uh, there's not enough energy. There's not enough information to base it on anything else is what I'm hearing, okay? Because the moon shines the light on only uh, just very little just on the tops of things you know you can't see what's below the surface and that's very much like a pisces energy um there's some deep waters right and not everything is out in the open or will be out in the open in january with this person just it is what it is take it as it comes okay all right you have the six of cups hmm okay Again, it's sincere, it's sweet that comes in from someone here. Um, for some, it could be somebody you already know, right? Um, for others, I will say there could be somebody trying to have a reconciliation with you. And they're coming in with this Knight of Cups, making that sweet offer. But, I don't want to say but. Uh <laughs> I don't want you to like feel down about it because I don't feel like there's anything down, but I do feel like you need to trust your intuition in regards to this love offer that comes in, okay? Um, the moon is very emotional. It's a very deep. Um, it could be someone who's very deeply emotional as well, right? Um, how many licks does it take to get to the center? <laughs> I mean, 
I don't know why that's coming out like that. I feel like it relates to um, there's some kind of depth to this. There's there's something behind this offer that's coming in. Okay, um, but it's not being revealed fully. It's just you know we're just looking at the tops. So we're just looking. It's a surface kind of thing. Oh my gosh, you get the four of wands. Okay, this is a twin flame. <laughs> well, it could be. It's eleven eleven. So maybe you've been seeing 1111 a lot lately. Maybe you're going to see it tonight here during this reading because generally 1111 pops up. Also, if you look there, we've got, I know it's a three, but it's also 111. So Virgo, I have to tell you, I feel like there's a trinity or some type of harmonious union happening here. Um, is it this person that you let go of? Lord, I hope not. I hope it is not. You're not going to take someone back who is self-absorbed um, or someone who is just very one-sided, okay? Um, you're going to have to wait and see. Like I said, for some of you, there is a reunion that somebody is like, that, that might happen if, if you let it. Um, be careful. Be careful because there could be some deception attached to that, okay? Okay. And based on the last two readings, Virgo, I really feel like there was someone here who didn't want to let you go. Um, it very well could be that situation again. Someone just popping up out of the blue. Okay. Just keep that in the back of your head. All right. But other than that, I do feel like this is something very sweet. It could be, like I said, somebody that you, um, maybe from your childhood or someone that you spent a little time with, or maybe you had some dates or something with, um, Hmm. Oh, wow. Okay. For some of you, I am going to go there, Virgo. I have to go there. There is someone here. It could be an Aquarius. Uh, whoever this person is, though, they're very, like, distraught. They have regret. They have re remorse. Um, this person is, you know, trying to stay hopeful. They, somebody here who has regret and remorse about a relationship ending or something being over. It could be that person. Um, they're hoping you'll come back. This person is hoping you'll come back because, I mean, I'm not telling you that you should feel sorry for someone who did you wrong. I don't... Like, you do whatever you have to do, but I do feel like there's someone here who's hoping you're going to return. They're very sad. They're heartbroken. There's a lot of regret, uncertainty, okay? Um, this person wants realignment, definitely. I feel like this person is going through some kind of grief. They don't, they feel, well, I will tell you they feel unloved. Maybe you abandon them, and they're hoping for healing. Yeah, I mean, they can hope, they can shit in one hand and do whatever, but, you know, <laughs> see which comes out first. But I just kind of feel like this is the energy of someone here who wants some kind of reunion, definitely. But, you know, I mean, you do what you got to do, Virgo, but I feel like you're in healing mode here. You're just getting yourself, you know, you're completing a cycle and starting over. So, you know, that's fine. You could also be connecting with someone new here for some of you. Um, that I will say, this person ha had a rough time as well. They got rejected. It could be somebody new that you connect with this person. And there's a rekindling um, of love happening here. This may not be somebody you were with. You might meet them and be like, you know, have conversation. Or, you know, they tell you, yeah, they, you know, they were they were abandoned. They were rejected. They're, they're on this healing path, this healing journey right now with the star. Um, getting their hope back hoping for a miracle and they're growing in their faith um for some of you there was a connection with someone who was in the spotlight who is like they could be in a celebrity um that you have connected with or they will be whatever i'm just seeing that energy overall where that person is like definitely grieving okay grieving something grieving a loss oh my gosh virgo all right let me see what what i want to ask Virgo, 
How do you feel about this past person that hurt you? Just want to ask. Oh, Virgo's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> Virgo, six of swords. Like, I don't feel nothing. Like, it was a necessary transition for me to leave. That's what I feel like your energy is. It's a six of swords. Um, you're like, yep, uh, how do I feel? I'm relocating. I'm moving or I moved away from this person. I don't even feel like you're feeling anything. I feel like it's more your thought process. You're probably, if you haven't done it already, you're just trying to get yourself in a better place, more calmer waters, okay? Uh, as far as emotions, I do feel like there was a lot of tumultuous feelings, up and down emotions, a lot of like rough waters with someone. I do feel like you do love this person and you do wish them to be happy i'm picking up the numbers 610 you do wish for this person to be happy maybe they'll find love and there is a part of you that is kind of like well i wish this person would get their healing in so you know maybe maybe things maybe we can maybe they'll go some intensive therapy or do something and i'm not talking to all of you i know some of you're like no but i know there are some of you that deep inside you can acknowledge it to yourself you don't have to say anything there might be something within you that is kind of like well you know you invested a lot there was a lot of problems something came to an end um or they don't have to be a narc this person could just be it could just be very selfish and self-absorbed and you had to leave because you felt like you were in a one-sided relationship you were giving and they were taking um but either way, Virgo, it looks to me like you're moving on to your healing as well. And um, I do feel, let me see, tell me a little bit about a new person coming in here for Virgo. Okay. High Priestess, the Death card. Hmm. Um, so I will tell you that this, there, this, there's a new person showing up here, okay, meeting someone, meeting the one. This person, this person does not like to share fully their struggles. They may have lost someone, okay. They may have lost someone. There's a common denominator between you and this person, and that has to do with both of you actually lost someone in the three day, okay? Um, and I feel like this person has struggled because of that, and you as well, okay? If that's your situation. It doesn't have to be physical loss. It can be for some of you, but there's, uh, there's definitely um, an energy of like, I feel this new person might say to you, you know, that my divorce or my the separation from my person, it felt like a death, and I, it was a struggle. It was an absolute struggle. And things are starting to look up now. Um, there might have been financial problems and some something along those lines as well for this person. But it feels like they're going to tell you, but you know, they worked through all that and they're getting um, themselves. They have they have like hope again. They're able to, their visions are coming back there. And it could be you, Virgo, but the visions are coming back, their ideas and their plans for financial gain and uh, maybe business prospects. I feel like this person, because of some kind of loss, had a financial struggle, poverty even. Okay. Um, and with that Eight of Wands, I do feel like this person, you might meet them at a distance. They might live far from you, but... Oh, yeah. Uh, they're going to say the good news. The good news, though, the outcome of everything that I've gone through is that I am building back better again. I'm rebuilding. I'm making my life better. And I'm on the upswing now here. Okay. I don't know why that was important to tell you that, but it feels like that was a message from this person. They're regaining their stability, becoming more consistent, able, maybe they're working now. They're not struggling anymore. Things are looking better. Okay. Um, <clears throat> tell me a little bit about this self-absorbed, one-sided relationship person. Okay. Hmm. Five of Swords. Yes, this person was like a stonewaller. They did this shut out, cut out, shut shut you down, shut the relationship down in a lot of ways. Um, this person, hmm, I don't like the Five of Swords. They might have been A B U S E. Might have been a lot of that from this person. Okay, um, you see how that person there is standing there. 
um, there's two swords on the ground. They made a decision and they purposely make decisions to um, hurt people. See how he's holding those three swords? He or she is holding those three swords? That, that's the three swords. That's the, the arguments, fighting, um, heartbreak, hurting someone, third party kind of energy, too. Yeah, so I feel like it was just very selfish. And I feel like this person um, leaves people feeling defeated. Like they're not good enough. That's something they might have done in the past, okay? And that you might have been someone that they did that to as well. Wow. Seven of Swords. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> wow, Virgo. I hope that you do not return to this person because that's deception, lying, and running away. I truly hope, you know, this person, this past person that you ended something with, that they're missing you or they're feeling sad or abandoned or unloved. They should have thought about that before they did that to you. Some of you just caused some kind of injury and, you know, stood up for yourselves or you just said, that's it. You're not going back. Okay. And I do feel like you're, you will be connecting with someone in January who has gone through a similar situation. And that might be the common denominator between the two of you where you guys kind of like sit there like, yeah, can you believe that? Like, I went through this awful thing and this person did this and it's not like a bash, like a bashing session. It's more about, yes, we have that in common and yes, we are on the mend. Okay. So that energy I think is very beautiful um, for you in January. All right. I just want to get a couple of more cards here. Hold on one sec. Show me what Virgo has to look forward to. What else does Virgo have to look forward to? Other areas of Virgo's life in January, in the new year in January. Wow, look at that. <laughs> You've got judgment, right? This is karma. Okay, good karma. This is an awakening. You're doing a lot of self-evaluation and any of that evaluation that you've been doing, I feel like... Um, there's a lot of forgiveness like you're letting go you're letting go of all that past energy this is beautiful okay maybe january 20th will be a significant day for some of you um but you you've got you i see you gaining clarity in january and making a final decision like you have a huge wake-up call coming to you like towards the end of january okay look King of Pentacles. For some of you, this is about another earth sign, okay? And for others, this is about yourselves, having that wake-up call about self, okay? Maybe you're already, like, there's a connection with an earth sign that you're coming to realize. Uh, there's revelation about that person, who they are, what they represent, what they're about, okay? Um, and when I say earth sign, it could be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. They may not be in their sun. It could be rising, Venus, moon, whichever. Okay. For some of you, the wake-up call and the realization <laughs> is that somebody was... Um, it feels like breadcrumbing. There's a lot of breadcrumbing energy here from somebody. I feel like someone was not giving you... They were just kind of like giving you enough to get by when they had more than enough to give. Were, was this person incapable of giving? I don't think so. I think that they were just very selective. They were, so they had a huge amount of, um, they had an entire loaf and they were doling out the crumbs to not just you, but others, like spreading themselves too thin, but standing in a position of like, it's imbalanced. Even though this is a card of reciprocity, it's also a card of charity and somebody was kind of viewing you as like a charity case and that's awful that's awful like oh i'll just give virgo a little bit here and then i'll give somebody else a little bit you know um if this is a card of reciprocity what could these beggars down here possibly give in return right they're on the receiving end for sure somebody might have been trying to like feel like they had to support you all the time there might be this chair like this wake up call or this realization that you don't need that support you know you can do something on your own here financially you might wake up and realize who the f you are the king of pentacles feminine 
masculine energy, um, successful, wealthy business person. You're able to better yourself, create your empire, thriving, having high status, doing all this on your own. Okay. Um, I feel like a lot of you are going to kind of take a look. I, I just feel like an imbalance, you know, um, it, it, something that maybe you're not, you didn't realize, or you will be coming to realize that someone was looking at you as if you were a beggar and you needed them. And Virgo, that's the wake up call. Like, you know what, Virgo, you're like, I don't need you. I can do this myself. I've been doing this myself. You don't get any credit. Who do you think you are? <laughs> Virgo, were you one of those people who looks back on a real crappy relationship and tries to see the silver lining? Well, I got this from this. No, Virgo, you were you were surviving and now you're thriving. No, nobody gets credit. I swear you keep getting all these dings to let you know. Don't give anybody credit. Give yourself credit and give God credit <clears throat> for where you are in your life, right? Um <laughs> I don't know. I, I have a hard time speaking about this because I really feel like it's just the audacity. I feel like that's what you kind of come to, like the audacity of somebody thinking that I can't live without them. Someone who treated me badly, right? Someone who was self-absorbed, possibly a narcissist, someone who was just love bombing and could only see themselves. Hmm. That's a huge wake-up call. What else is Virgo going to wake up to here? Oh. Okay. Yeah. You've been, <clears throat> excuse me, you're going to realize that perhaps this whole time <clears throat> you've been carrying the burden. You've been carrying the weight of the of an entire situation. And this doesn't have to be one part, like a, like a romantic partner. This could be somebody that's been in your life for a long time that made you feel like you can't, uh, like you need them, like you can't exist without them. Whoever this person was, could be a parent, it could be a child, like a, an adult child, um, it, could, it could be a, a romantic partner, um, could be a friend, family member, boss, whatever. I feel like, Virgo, you're like going within and, <clears throat> excuse me, coming to this place where it's like, you know, I'm, I'm making a break for it. This is bull. This is no good. Somebody's been cheating. Somebody's been underhanded. And Virgo, I feel like you have been, um, oh, they just said enemy masquerading as a friend. Virgo, I feel like you've been carrying on the burdens of somebody's lies and trickery and the way they've been treating you. You've been blaming yourself and you might have isolated yourself. Somebody might have stifled you and you're kind of like, no. No more of this. No more of this. And if you haven't come to that, maybe you already did. Maybe some of you already did. And you're like, no, you're done. You're starting over. You're going to do it all on your own. I'm just feeling this energy of thriving. Look at that. Freedom. Yep. If you haven't come to it yet, Virgo, you're going to be free to manifest and lay all your cards on the table and do what you need to do for yourself. And that's amazing. That is amazing. Okay. Virgo energy again. Uh, Aquarius, Gemini. This is amazing. Creative visual visualization, manifesting your dreams and your desires, using your skills, your magic, maybe even becoming self-employed if you're not yet. Um, I see you taking action and with great action comes great power. The ability to like, I just see you breaking free, taking a risk and you're Definitely coming to terms with that here in January, okay? And I don't feel like you're going to be mean. I just feel like you come to, um, like, realize that you can do stuff yourself. Like, you don't need to rely on people to do things. And some of you, I know you, Virgo, I know that you generally are like that anyway, but I do feel like there was someone who might have just been making you feel like you needed them. And maybe in all other areas of your life, you're like, nah, I don't think so. But this one particular person maybe caused you to feel dependent on them, maybe financially or in some crazy way or uh, maybe in a love relationship breadcrumbing you and 
creating a condition um, for you to have to come back begging for the love and the validation. Virgo's like, I don't need to do that. Okay, so that's great. That's really great, Virgo. And I feel like you're on a brand new path here. Okay, you're really putting effort into what you want to build. Okay, or your self-employment um, or building a business. I really feel like you're focusing on that right now. Um, if it's not business for you guys, it's like your commitment and dedication just, well, right now to yourself, finishing what you start, not giving up on yourself. I see you being very successful. Okay, I do. I feel like January is the start. Maybe you made some resolutions and you're going to see them through at this time. Like really, really, really see them through. Let me see what your messages of love are. What are Virgo's messages of love here? Past life love. Well, that was here yesterday. Okay. There might still be an attachment to a past life love. Or, or there's a past lover still attached to you. Okay. Yeah, this person wants to marry you. Oh my gosh. This past person, they want to marry you. And they're patiently waiting. What are they waiting for? Are you going back? I don't know. I don't know. I hope it's not. I hope you don't go back to someone who is abusive. Will they get their healing? It's possible. But I feel like if anything, you'll play hard to get. Um, not to play games, really. But just to be like you're not giving in your energy. You don't want to be with someone who is breadcrumbing you. Bloody stumps, y'all. Bloody stumps. Okay, you might reject this person. Yep. Or they are going, to, okay, for some of you, this person is going to, all right, warning, trigger. I'm going to just have to give it to you. If you were dealing with a, nars, a narcissist, a narc, whatever, um, this person is going to patiently wait for the right time to come in and make a, 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 an offer, a commitment, marriage, sacred union, whatever. Um And then they're going to play hard to get and then reject you. And that would be typical action of an arc. And this person is going to do this to just injure you. Okay. So you need to be careful. And I feel like some of you are like, oh, yeah, I know. But that's fine. I got new love. Okay. This person will, though, try to have a, a recommitment to love. Definitely. Just be on your best. Like, be, don't, don't fall for any okie doke. Okay, because I feel like this is love bombing. All right, I feel like this is love bombing. And I really feel like you need to be aware of that. Okay. Oh, gosh. Okay. Whatever move that you're thinking of making at this time, Virgo, it's safe to make the move you're considering. Okay. Um, is that a move towards staying away from someone because you've got new love coming in? Maybe. Okay. Um, but I feel like if someone's coming in from the past and they're like, oh, no, I'm ready now. I want to marry you. Uh, I want us to be together forever and ever. Um, really? Because where have you been? Like, what happened? What made you want to do that? Like, ask some questions. Because some people will just come in with that and then that they have no intentions of really doing that. You really have to be on your game. Virgo, you have to have game. You can't just go through life willy nilly. Like, listen, I mean, if <laughs> you're not going to join a team uh, playing some sport that you've never played in your life and say to yourself, well, I'll just go out in the field and see how I do and then expect to win. No, you have to learn the rules of engagement, Virgo. Um, don't jump in the ring with anyone unless you know the rules of engagement, unless you know how to play the game, because then you're just going to open yourself up to be a target. Like you're not going to get in a boxing ring <laughs> if you've never punched a bag in your life, are you? No, you'll just totally get knocked out. So if you're going to get involved or if you're going to re-involve yourself with someone or, or engage with someone again here, you need to kind of just be like, maybe play hard a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Strong message there for some of you. All right, let's see what else is going on here for you. My son just texted me to tell me he was on TV again. This kid is always on television, like the news. They're always, he's 20, how old is he? 23, 22? 
Well, I don't know. He's going to be famous one day, I swear. <laughs> All right, let me see. Let's get some Moon Pie messages. What does Moon Pie have to say? What does Moon Pie have to say here? Okay. You've got boredom. Watch out for boredom, Virgo. Don't get bored. Keep your mind active and busy. Um, you don't want to have boredom because that's the devil's playground. Okay. Victory, recognition, and applause. So you're definitely going to be recognized or get some type of rec recognition. People around you supporting you. Definitely in January, I feel like um, there's definitely going to be some good news. Maybe you'll receive some kind of an award or maybe a diploma of some sort. Something's coming in for you. Okay. Very good energy for January. All right. Somebody's getting their karma for sure. Okay. Somebody's getting their karma in January. Hold on a minute. Okay. Endure and be patient. Listen, if you, Virgo, are sitting in a position where you're kind of like, <sighs> you have this vengeance thing, you don't want to hurt anybody. And I'm not talking to all of you, so don't get like, don't get your uh, knickers in a twist. There's somebody that here uh, that might be secretly wishing for revenge, but isn't going to take any action. Um, let me tell you something, Virgo. Karma never forgets an address, ever, good or bad. So if if people, like, it, and it goes the same for you, Virgo. If you treat people badly, it comes back to you, okay? If somebody treated you badly, it'll come back to them. Um, you just have to endure and be patient. So just, like, sit back in your seat, get your popcorn, and just, just wait for the show to start because that's how it works. I'm not predicting that, and I'm not, uh, this is just how life is. Okay, people always get caught. Everything always comes out in the wash. So if you're sitting there fretting and you're waiting and you're just like, let me tell you also how karma works. Karma happens to another person where justice gets served to someone who did you wrong uh, right at the time that you're over it. That's generally how that works. So you never really get to enjoy the fallout. <laughs> you sat they're waiting and waiting and waiting. And you get so bored of waiting that you decide, now nah, I'm just going to pick up and do it and get on with my life. And then as soon as you do that, that's when it happens. And it's it's a little, it's kind of like, okay, well, I'm happy about that, but I don't really care anymore. That's generally how it happens. Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry, you guys. You'd think I would turn everything off here. Um, we're almost done anyway. But, yeah, that's just how that happens. And that was your sign right there. Um, there's a sweet text message going to come in for you in January as well. Okay. Ooh. Attached to an emotional wish being granted. Very beautiful. Somebody's going to tell you that they love you. They care very much for you. You might even get an apology from someone. If you have an argument or something like that happens. Okay. Yeah. Some kind of struggle is over. There's definitely a struggle ending here. And I feel, I don't know if it's attached to this person who's getting karma. It could be. But I feel like you're going to be in this position where um, there's going to be some kind of like validation for you. I don't know that you need it, but I do feel like um, it's going to put an end of, to some kind of struggle with somebody. Okay. Definitely going to put an end to it. Let me see. What the love message, romance angels, romance angels, Jesus, past life relationship again. You're listen, Virgo. <laughs> there is a past person who is going to really try, like they're gonna like pull out all the stops to try to go the distance with you. Like the very thing maybe you had wanted at one time with this person. Um, I don't know who it is. I can tell you right now, um, but it's your past person. Um, they're going to pull out all the stops this time. But I just feel like you need to pay attention um, to see if, you know, find out if this is real. Okay, because somebody could just be doing this just to get you back. They could say, oh, yeah, uh, let's do this. I'm ready. Like bloody stumps. That's it. 
there's got to be the bloody stumps okay and when i say bloody stumps if you're new to my channel what i mean is and it's gross but you know i'm a virgo we like that gross horror uh sci-fi stuff uh this person shows up at your door and this is you know this is just a metaphor they show up at your door with the leg cut off from the knee down and they hand it to you and they're like here you go i i will limp for the rest of your life for you uh, this is what I'm willing to do. Uh, that That's a major sacrifice. Getting married, offering marriage, not that sacrificial anymore because people do it all the time and then they get divorced all the time or they or they say they're going to be in a committed relationship and I'm not trying to sound like a Do Debbie Downer, but there's a lot of people out there that are like Looney Tunes. So yeah, this person has to come in with like a major, like they got a sacrificial lamb, this shit. Really, you can't be, if this is a past person who's coming in with this energy and you've been with them for a long time and there was a lot of problems and this person was always running away, what, you think to yourself, really? Now they're coming back in since you've walked away or you've left or a relationship ended between the two of you? Now they're coming back in? They got to put in a little effort, a little more than just, oh, here's a ring or here I'm ready now or I got rid of that other person, you know, <laughs> this is a reading. Let me tell you what, this is a reading. Okay, let go of control issues. So Virgo, listen, if you have any control issues going on with yourself, let things go, let it go, let go and, and let God that's the message that I'm getting here, okay? Let go and let God. He's in charge of everything. He will watch out for you. That's your daddy. That's your father right there. Let go and let God. Go to your dad. Just be like, listen, <laughs> I'm letting this go. You handle it. It's overbearing. Whatever the situation is going on in your life, let go and let God. Allow him to, to um, unfold things naturally in your life for you. Okay, because what's meant to be will come from him. What's meant to be will come from spirit, will come from God, right? What's meant for you. Don't try to control or direct the show or anything like that. Okay, so you also have give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. Now, for some of you, that's somebody that you're currently with or someone you're connecting with that's new. And this is also your relationship with God. Give that a chance, Virgo. And relationship with self. Give that a chance also. Okay? Work on yourself. Work on your relationship, your partnership with the divine. With the supernatural. Watch out for deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in a relationship. That's what I was talking about. And that could be on that past person. So be careful. Okay. Yes, this is your soulmate. Okay. Who is your soulmate, Virgo? Somebody new coming in? Yes, it's a soulmate, which is much, much better. This person does not have children. This soulmate. This is somebody new. You'll know them by that. They don't have any children. They might want children, or they just can't have children. Okay. All right, let's see what your... Chinese signs are. Wow. There go. Your messages are something. Year of the pig. That might be you. Could be the other person. Year of the monkey. Year of the dog. Year of the horse. Year of the tiger. Horse again. Pig again. Year of the snake. Tiger again. Year of the rabbit. Okay, beautiful. Very beautiful. If you don't know what your Chinese sign is, just Google it, read up about yourself. There's even, um, you can get your blended Western Zodiac and Chinese signs. So like, for example, I'm a Virgo rooster. So you can look it up. There's actually a book by uh, Suzanne White uh, where she blends the astrological signs with the Chinese signs. You could probably get it on Amazon or Kindle or something where she will tell you, if you read it, all about the Virgo rooster or you know the Virgo snake or the Virgo horse and then also you can look at somebody else and their zodiac sign with their Chinese it's really fascinating and I definitely encourage you to check that out okay now they're just telling me just to give you one moon message 
What is Virgo's spiritual moon message? What is Virgo's moon message here? Okay. Yep. It's time to release negativity, Virgo. Very good. So what does that mean? Well, if you release the negative thoughts, what do you replace it with? Well, positive thoughts, okay? Releasing the negativity is only half the battle. I feel like for you, um, you have to replace it with something positive or else the negativity, if you're prone to think negatively, um, then it will just come back in. It'll seep back in. The brain is constantly moving and thinking and thoughts are constantly, you know, going. Um, so if you are in this place where, okay, I need to release the negativity, don't focus so much on releasing the negativity. Focus on absorbing the positivity. That's kind because of, they can't coexist, right? They can't coexist. So every time you decide I'm going to get rid of this negative thought, whatever it might be, and I'm going to fill it with a positive thought, I'm going to change the tapes change the tapes in your mind all right now we have to get we definitely have to get i got a new deck you guys um that probably won't be until mid-january but as soon as that comes in i'm definitely going to be using it because i just can't add more decks here can i um also you guys you can follow my website, kellyannrose.com. The link is in the description box below here also. And I'm going to start doing my bookings from there. Okay. So do check that out. Um, I do have like my artwork. I have some of my photography up there if you're interested to see it. I also have um, a novel that I'm currently writing. I just have to finish I got the story I just have to finish the rest of it that will be released soon and I'll let you guys know when that comes out so definitely go over there and check that out um, and you know what you can even get a signed autograph by me <laughs> I thought I'd try it I don't really I'm not really big on doing that but it was suggested so why not um, yeah a good um, uh, a cousin of mine was like, you know, you should do that. And I'm like, but I don't view myself as someone who would be in a position to sign autographs. And she's like, no, no, you should. You you definitely should. I think people would like that. And I was like, all right, I'll, I'll put it out there and see what happens. So, all right, let's get into this. Okay. So again, with the letter G and, oh, somebody calls somebody Goose as a nickname. Somebody call somebody Goose. Okay, a nickname, Goose. All right, and then I just heard the name Kennard. Kennard, or Connard, 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 Conair, Kennard, C E, no, K E N N A R D, or C O N A R D, Connard. Okay. And somebody has a satin robe. A satin robe. All right. Oh, wow. Um, okay. Somebody's got a full head of gray hair. Very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Uh, a very nice gray. Very beautiful gray. Maybe blondish gray. Very lovely. Okay. And then I'm hearing Cece. Somebody's name is Cece or somebody calls somebody Cece. I'm also picking up um, somebody who was born in 68, the year 68. Okay, there's confirmation for Cece. Um, I just heard the name Levi, L-E-V-I, Levi. Okay, hmm. Uh, does somebody have a cat named King? A cat named King. I hope you can hear me. King. I don't know. You name your cat King? Okay. All right. Um, and I just heard the name Amanda. Okay. All right. Amanda. And then I'm hearing Kumi. K-U-M-I. Kumi. Kumi. Okay. Um, hmm. All right. This is, I don't know how to pronounce this. Uh, oh, is it Zara or 
it's Zara or uh, it sounds like a um, Middle Eastern name though, like Sahara or Zara. I don't know if that's a Middle Eastern name or or Z Zara, something like that from the Middle East or somewhere. Beautiful, beautiful name, Zara. I don't know if it's Middle Eastern. I'm just hearing Zara. <clears throat> Okay. Oh, all right. They're giving me the initials R Z R Z. Okay. Let's see what else. Okay. All right. That doesn't make any sense. Um. All right, so it's either that someone's age is 55 or there's initials or, okay, so it's either, I see SS, SS, like Sam, Sam, SS. Maybe it's like, or there's a boat, maybe somebody, there's a boat, SS something, SS, okay, one more. Hold on a minute. Okay. All right. And somebody has like a blue. They're giving me a blue, um, light blue comforter bedspread. It's like light blue on one side, dark blue on the other side. Um, and it's very comfy. It's very like very, very nice. Or at least it's just very good threads. It's just very comfortable. All right. Let's get into... <clears throat> the charms and your numbers. Okay, I'm seeing Scorpio. I'm seeing Cancer. Leo again. Okay, and Gemini is here. Also, they just flipped over to Taurus. Interesting. Okay. So, September 1st, September 2nd, September 4th, September 10th, September 11th and 12th. Okay. Um, also, the 17th, September 17th. Somebody is 40 years old. Area code 410. Okay. Somebody was born in 74. Um, now we're getting, f f did I say 410? Okay, um, 33. You might be seeing 33 or 333 a lot. If you are, that's a strong message for you. Somebody is 53. Um, hmm. Somebody's last four digits, or, or they have four numbers in their phone, 2080, I'm hearing. Okay. Aquarius, double Aquarius. Oh, um, okay. Hmm. Well, first they told me, all right, I'm picking up an Aries uh, that's 51 years of age. Also an Aries that's 43. And yeah, we have Aries here. So, wow, I just saw that. Aries, Aries, Aquarius, Aquarius. Interesting. One more. Leo, Pisces, Gemini, and Aries again. All right. That's crazy. Let me get a charm for you guys, and then I'm going to close out your reading. Oh, beautiful unicorn, Virgo. Very unique, very beautiful. I feel like you need to make a wish in seeing that. What is this? Are you kidding? Blindfolded, not even looking. I have two unicorns. Just like that, not even looking. I didn't even look in the bag. I just pulled whatever showed up in my hand, whatever I grabbed. I'm like the claw right two um two unicorns you know what virgo <laughs> your match is coming to you and they are going to be just like you there is definitely a soulmate connection you're going to be making during this month you may not feel like it's love at first sight when you meet this person but there is a common denominator between the two of you <clears throat> and this is <clears throat> excuse me a very unique connection it's like a dream come true 
okay? Um, but I don't feel like you're going to recognize each other. I will say that I do feel like once you both get to know each other, um, this, this energy is going to feel like, wow, this is hard to even believe. I can't even believe um, that you have the same stuff, that you dealt with the same things. And believe it, Virgo, because I feel like whoever the person is for you, um, they've been lined up to meet you in the future. Okay, um, for some reason, as a soulmate, not as this feels like because the world was there and you have finished out or completed a contract or learned a life lesson, okay, or completed a goal. Um, everything that you've gone through up until this point, your this other person has as well. And you both have been traveling towards each other for years. And when you connect or reconnect, there is this energy of like, wow. I've been waiting for you my whole life and I didn't even know it. And that's what these two unicorns represent to me. Definitely. So Virgo, I'm going to leave your message there. I hope that lifted you up a little bit or made you feel like there's hope, <laughs> you know? Um, yeah. So don't forget to follow me on all those links and everything below. Um, I'm most active on Facebook, so I will connect with you there. If you want to give me a shout out or say hello. I'll leave a comment. I will definitely connect with you there. I know a lot of you are in the group me chat. I hope you guys are doing well. I haven't been on there in ages. So um, yeah, hopefully I can get Streamlabs up and running so that you guys can like link to the group me chat. I don't know if anybody else is linked there yet. Any like since everyone has joined. But um, yeah, that's it. All right, you guys. So have a fantastic evening and I will see you all back here tomorrow. Take care. Bye.